Hi everyone, it's Vanessa. Today is going to be a different kind of a video. I'm going to be doing a screen recording of me looking through NPR's book concierge for the year that's come out and seeing if it can give me any new recommendations for things I might want to read and to put on my TBR on Goodreads. So I hope you enjoy this video. To the screen recording we go. All right, here we are on NPR's book concierge webpage. Uh, it always looks so clean. I love it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to toggle through uh, the filters on the left hand side and pick the things that of course call to me. So let's see. I'm going to click biography and memoir first, of course. We need that. I had never heard of this one. What is this? Cam girl. Juicy memoir. Working on the online sex industry. Childhood trauma and the challenges of sustaining bifurcated identity. That already sounds interesting. So I'm going to... What happens when I click Goodreads? Does it go straight? Oh, this is awesome. Oh yeah. So let's do that. Got pretty good ratings. I like that you can go straight to the Goodreads. That's pretty cool. All right. So we already have our, our first one. Just from the cover, I was like, that looks interesting. Um, I checked this one out and I was not getting on with it. So I sent it back. Um, I don't know what this is. Why we traded the commuting life for a little house on the prairie. Um, I am not interested in this Edward Snowden book. I already read this. Five days gone. I've heard something about this. Where have I heard about this? Mm, that one's kind of more like a maybe. Not sure about this one on 100%. Maybe my goal is to get like 10 total out of all of the ones that I'm going to look at. So I'm going to be a little bit pickier. Um, That one, no. In waves. Oh, I have heard of this one. I'm on hold for this one. Um, yes, it's a graphic memoir. That's why I definitely want it. Um, it weaves the history of the modern surfboard and terminal cancer. I'm gonna get my heartstrings. I already uh, have that one on hold, but I shall put it on my want to read on Goodreads. Perfect. Things that I like is that when they do biography and memoir, they put other formats in it as well. They don't care that it's a graphic memoir. What have you heard? It's true memoir, witness and resistance. I have no idea what this is. She goes to El Salvador. Um, I think I'm good. Shall I checked out and um, I read a few poems, but I wasn't in the mood for poetry, so. Oh, a biography of Beverly Clary. She, didn't she pass away this year? No, she's still alive, right? Beverly Clary. Um, she's still alive thank the lord she's 103 okay uh i hugged this book before i even opened it oh that is so cute picture book biography of my favorite writer oh so it's for kids okay i'm going to not put this on my goodreads because i keep two separate goodreads for like my kids books and for like my grown-up books um but i'm going to put this one, I'm going to write it down in my journal, in my notebook, so I can look for it at the library at some point. Okay, I hadn't heard about that one. Um, okay, in the country of women, I miss you when I blank. I've heard good things about this, but I'm not sure if I want to I wanna click on it so far. Beneficiary, fortune, misfortune, and the story of my father. What? Um, her great-great-grandfather, the railroad baron and mentor to Andrew Carnegie. And her glamorous grandmother was said to be an inspiration for... Eh, I'm good. Um, when we were Arabs, a Jewish family's forgotten history. Oh, that sounds interesting. Serving family history that spans continents and epochs. Moroccan, Egyptian, Tunisian heritage. He's also Jewish. Um, that's a maybe. What doesn't kill you makes you blacker. The Salt Path. A wild and precious life. Oh, I read this one. It was really good. A good American family. The Red Scare on my father. Instead examines how the anti-communist purge touched middle America. Oh, so it's more like a general person who was uh, accused. Um, this one I already have on my holds. Um, Solitary I have on Goodreads already. I think I've heard plenty about this one and people have really enjoyed this one this year grappling with this attraction to other boys and surviving a violent sexual encounter 
Okay, this one's a maybe, so I'll keep that one in mind. Uh, we fight uh, for our lives. I dream about lightning bugs. No. But my mother and I don't talk about. Mastermind. Eh. The education of an idealist. Oh, Samantha Power. I think I'm good. I don't know what that is. Horror stories. Is that an actress? Yeah, I guess she's an actress or someone involved in Hollywood. I have never heard her name. <laughs> this one I really want to read. Betty Smith. I didn't know she had a new book this year. Hot comb. What is this? <gasps> Comics and graphic novels. Hot comb reflects on growing up black with a combination of humor and biting rage. It's Theralina's hair. Okay. Hot comb. Going on there. I guess I should close these. Because I can click here. Oh. <laughs> I already had it on there. Uh, I probably put it on there a while ago when I put a bunch of comics on. Never mind. <laughs> Go blood. Right, let's click this one. When she was 14 and her sister was 17, her father killed her mother and turned the gun on himself. Ooh. In this wrenching, careful excavation of all that has flowed through and around that morning, transforms it into a mystery, a memory she can never quite see clearly, and the paradox she must reconcile because she loved her daddy and sometimes pitied her mama and still lives intimately with their ghosts. Oh my god, that sounds like a lot. Let's see. It has good ratings. Okay, that's what I was kind of curious about if it would have good ratings. Oh, it's a singer. I, I don't know if I've heard her music. All right, that one's going on there. It's got kind of like a true crime and like deep inside look at her own struggles and sounds like something I'd be into. All right, I think we're good with bio and there's 50 books on there and we got two. All right, so let's go away from that one. We're going to click, click comics and graphic novels. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm okay with this. The Hard Tomorrow. I don't know what that is. Intimacy, connection, and concreteness. Hannah, a home health worker, and her husband are trying to have a baby and build a house. Hmm, I think I'm okay. The American Dream, a journey on Route 66, discovering dinosaur statues, muscle rent, and the perfect breakfast burrito. That looks kind of fun. So it's like a road trip through American towns. Oh, and it's from a Malaysian author. It doesn't have great, great reviews. I'll leave that there as a possibility. In Waves, We Already Got, I already told you that I had that one um, on my list. This one was already on my list. I read this one. I read this one. Swimming in Darkness. I don't know what that is. Ooh. A young architecture student quits school and visits a remote spa in the Swiss Alps. Oh, uh, I don't know about that one. I've already read this one. Body parts spilling over the toilet room and face eating tentacles. Ines Estrada. Mm, this seems too psychedelic. Okay, this one I need. This one I checked out and I didn't get to it in time. Queen of the Sea. Alternative history comics chock full of nuns. Effervescent and charming. That sounds pretty good. I think I'm gonna mark it. So there's book number three. The goal is to get to ten. So I've read this one. I've read this one. I think I'm okay. I don't really read that many superhero ones. And man eaters. I think I'm okay without this one. All right. So we are done with comics and graphic novels. And let's go to... We're going to go to Family Matters. Oh, I want to read this one. I already have it on there. Um, okay, back to things that I don't know about. I already have that one on there. We have that one on there. I've read this one. Read this one. The Larger Queen of Minnesota, a novel. Hmm. Medical Lock I've tried before and didn't go super well. I would like to read this one. Hmm, let's click this one. So she live, leaves Z Syria and then goes to middle school. Free verse? Oh, I like free verse. Okay, let's mark that one. There's book number cuatro. Perfect. And we can close that. This one, I'm not 100% sure. I've heard good things about it. She goes to Haiti. Okay, I actually have never read what this is actually about. I just thought that it was um, romance for some reason because of the cover. Her aunt is the Haitian minister of tourism. And they have dark family secrets. Mm -mm, this one kind of sounds interesting. So I'm going to leave that one open as a possibility with the American Dream one. 
and I'll go back. All right, let's get through this one. Oh, I really want to read this one. I have that one on there probably already. I am not interested in Elizabeth Strout. We already saw that one. We already saw this one. This one I saw at the library. Let's see, any other ones that look kind of interesting? I look both ways, I need to read. I've read My Poppy Has a Motorcycle, it's really cute. I kind of am interested in this one, but not 100% sure. I think this one I really need to think, to think about as a possibility since it's come up a couple times. So let's leave that one up too. We'll go back. I think looking at the family one was a bad idea. <laughs> There's too many things on here. All right, let's just see what, what calls to me just from the way it looks. Uh, this book is good too. That one had 94. That's a lot. Okay, and I want to do um, identity and culture next. Here's. Oh, not a lot changed there. <laughs> I have this one already on my Goodreads. Oh, I heard good things about this today at um, work, and I really do enjoy him. So I'm going to put it, I think. He's my favorite of the Queer Eye guys. So I'll put that one there. Probably I can listen to it on audiobook. I bet that'd be good. Okay, The Future of Another Timeline. This one I also have on my Goodreads already, I think. This book is so good. And this one I also have on my Goodreads. Let's see. This one came back up. I've read that one. Felon. Po oh, Reginald Dwayne Betts has a new poetry collection? What? Them fools say you can become anything when it's over, told and straight up, ain't nothing to resurrect after prison. Oh, he's, he writes good stuff. Um, I read his first poetry collection, which was this one, Bastards of the Reagan Era, and man, he writes good stuff. So I'm gonna put that one there. Are we at five, I think? Alright, we're at five. I didn't know he had a new one out, so... Okay, let's see what else. Um, I can make this promise. I've never heard of this one. But Eddie's mom was an orphan who never knew her family. Ooh. Mystery that will keep kids guessing until a gut-wrenching reveal? That sounds very interesting. It's got good ratings. What? Oh, that's really cool. Oh, so she learns about her Native American heritage. She belonged to a native family that Eddie never knew about. Hmm, okay, I'm putting that one. That's number six. All right, we're making good work of this, guys. I've never heard of this book. I've never seen the cover. Fry bread. I'm on hold for that. All right, let's see. Oh, Tongalai. 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 Man, this was a book that we did last year that the kids needed to know how to say her name correctly. And I can't remember now. I think it was... Tanha Lai. That's, that's a possibility to be number six, maybe. This one is like nice and short, but I think it might be too heavy and like too moralistic for me. I tried the Nickel Boys. It didn't go well. Unexampled Courage. The Blinding of Sergeant Isaac Woodard and the Awakening of President Harry S. Truman and Judge J. Wadey's Warring. That's a very long subtitle. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> this book is so packed with overlooked history that you will forgive that it has one of the most unwieldy titles of the year. Oh, wow, this is interesting. He was blinded by a beating from a police chief in South Carolina while returning from service in World War II. What? I haven't heard about this book at all. All right, that is book number six. I probably should count. I bet I'm like off. Let's just make sure. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See, I'm already messed up there. And then eight, because in waves, I just put on there, but I or I already knew about it. It wasn't. I didn't get introduced to it because of the concierge list. All right, that's the end of identity and culture. Let's undo that one, and let's do mysteries and thrillers, something I haven't really read of a lot of this year. This I checked out, and I returned it. I don't know if I should read that one. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm not interested in this one or this one, and I've seen it at plenty of places. I am interested in this, but I already knew about it. This I considered getting. I've heard good things about this. None of these, like, call to me, honestly. Maybe it's just this. <laughs> So I'm gonna I'm gonna go away from this one. 
Okay, let's click on nonfiction. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, a lot of these we're gonna be like, we already saw these in previous ones, like biography and memoir. What? I don't know anything about this. A nonfiction account of one of the most violent bank robbers in the U.S. in which three people were killed and 20 others injured. It's not only a gripping true crime account, it's also one of the best nonfiction books of the year. I have not heard about this at all. Okay, I think I'll put it on there. Ooh, I definitely want to read that. Um, I tried this book. I could not read it. I think after watching the TV show on HBO, I was like, that's enough. That's enough of that story. I read this and it was really good. I also tried to read this and it wasn't for me. There's a lot of nonfiction. I have this checked out right now. I love the illustrations on it. The CEO, your boss, your teammate, you, the states we're in. Ha, here we go. Mm. This is an interesting thing. The book explores her journey from a little girl defending her father to an adult grappling with the civil rights legacy and seeking racial justice. I think it's this is a contender. 3.24, ouch. It only has 10 reviews. Why? What? What's the problem? Revisionist history to protect the legacy. Oh, it's not coming out till, like, now. Hmm. Okay. I'll see if more people talk about it in the next few months. I haven't heard about it because it just literally came out. Lindy West, the witches are coming. I still need to read her first book before that. Cyborg detective. What the heck is that? Oh, essays, poems. That's Ableist America, straight about a number of things in her third collection. It's the same poem y'all been writing in our cent in your century. Someone gets bad, bites a house, has children, politics, and little birdies. Put some ableism in and polish it. Oh, she's an amputee. You know, I do not read enough stuff about people with disabilities, and uh, I should try it. Have I had? Have I gotten enough now? Let's go back. And then we can go back through these ones if we want to add any of these. I already did this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got to ten. All right, do I feel like I need any more? A lot of these I've either read or want to read already from other things we saw through. All right. Yeah, I think we're good with that one. And then I wanted to click on the dark side, too. Just because I like to read depressing things, don't I? Maybe I should click on YA too. Maybe I should do that. Let's go click on YA just in case there's something there that I want. So I ever saw Wilder Girls and thought, mm, maybe I should click on there. Oh, I didn't know this was YA. I thought it was middle grade. I want to read Pet, but I already heard about that one. Dead Queen's Club. I don't know what this is. Dead Queen's Dark Plies Gossip Girl Meets Riverdale. <laughs> With the verbal gymnastic skills of Lorelai Gilmore. The characters are 100% based on the court of Henry VIII? What? Okay, let's see what Goodreads thinks. <laughs> Not great. Okay, somebody, some people have heard about it. Mm, I'll just keep that one in mind. Um, it, it might not work for me anymore. I really want to read this one. Okay, that's it. Alright, I think I've got enough. Um, let's see. I think I will still want to read this one at some point. Yeah, let's see. I already did that one. We're going to go with this one. Two. You know, this one, I think I'm going to wait on just to just to hear what other people are thinking about it as more people read it. And same with this one. I think I'm, I'm okay without this one. So, my final set of books is How We Fight for Our Lives, Butterfly Yellow, Cyborg Detective. I'm glad that I got some poetry on here because I did not read as much poetry here this year as I, I should have. It only has 19 ratings. Wow. True Crime, History, Middle Grade, more po poetry, more Middle Grade, Memoir that I'm going to read on audio hopefully, a graphic novel I'd never heard of, another True Crime-esque book, a graphic memoir, and another memoir nonfiction. um okay so that's it i got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen new things on my tbr thanks to the npr book concierge Woohoo! i hope that you enjoyed watching this video as i went through all of this and i'll see you in my next vlogmas video bye bye